Some two years ago, a ghostly silence wanted this place. Classroom blocks lay abandoned. Thick bushes were closing in. The Seventh-day Adventist Church, SDA, had funded the construction of this school. But government suspended its opening. Government insisted the school did not meet all statutory requirements. All the SDA wanted was to meet the needs of the desperate Loma children. The school was the only modern structure in the area. It was the only gateway to education for the Doma. The other school at Chapoto, 16 kilometers away, was inaccessible to the Doma children. The long distance added to the risk of attacks by wild animals meant the children could not travel to Chapoto. The Doma people had to learn to live in a land where human pathways crossed animal trails. So far from civilization that their story was not fully known. An NGO, the Center for Community Development in Zimbabwe, CCDZ, then started to tell the story of the Doma people to the outside world. The hope was some intervention would take place. The NGO then conducted a survey that revealed many challenges facing the Doma people. Hunger, lack of proper clothing, absence of enabling infrastructure, among other factors, hindered those who attempted to travel to Chapoto. Therefore, less than five Doma children completed primary school annually. Still, government continued to ignore the situation. CCDZ had to take its efforts a step higher. The organization took legislators in the education committee to the area. Here they witnessed firsthand the dire reality. School going kids are not able to go to school because, not because of their own problems, but because of the situational uh, problem which we as parliamentarians I think it is our duty uh, to rectify that. CCDZ then published a documentary on the life of the Doma people. In addition, the organization aggressively pushed for, among other things, the opening of the SDA built school. We uh, uh, talked to the minister, talked to the directors in the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, uh, and Professor Koma Vima really understood what we were trying to, to do, and to the extent that uh, he adopted a hands-on approach to the challenges. So you find out that um, um, uh, he tasked the education uh, officials there to compile registers of uh, the Doma children who have not been to school, who dropped out of school. Uh, so the statistics, we now have them. Those statistics are the basis upon which the ministry then said, we are now opening uh, Marika School. Uh, um, so that one is done. The school is now open. The silence that once haunted this you at Marika is now replaced by this. The school opened its doors in May after government finally gave the green light. The Doma community is not going to The opening of the school, however, appears to be just the beginning. They still need to deploy more resources in terms of furniture, in terms of more classroom blocks, and so forth. And we assist with this, working hand in glove with the Minister of Primary and Secondary Education, bearing in mind that they have got the primary responsibility to ensure that every child, regardless of geographical uh, location and so forth, they have got access to quality and affordable education. My teachers are actually my show. They are my partners. 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 They are my partners
wakatarisa the Doma community ni nyaya ima hezo kufika. Pozi kufika, kuiwa na madoma, kusunya nyofaza, ndozi kuonzele zukutu wa muwacha wadi kuenda kuchukuru. Kana sina kujora kwa nisi wenda chukuru, ane nga kura amboti ndi nenzara. Asile ya mchukuru, nisa uti ende siro chikafu chukuru. Chia uti mga muti enda nisi wati ndaka chukuru, ndaka peza uzi za nisha ono chikafu chaka naka chukuja nchi zoka ji kumba. Chia uti mga machari nja duu sanga na nawe ya ya. Yes, you can